In April, in the midst of all the uncertainty around the world, soccer players a part of the U.S. Development Academy were faced with the profound disappointment that U.S. soccer had made an executive decision to end all operations of the Development Academy. U.S. soccer announced, This was an incredibly difficult decision to make, but the extraordinary and unanticipated circumstances around COVID-19 pandemic have resulted in a financial situation that does not allow for the continuation of the Development Academy program into the future. Players found themselves having to work out and train at home for four months without their teammates and coaches. Training consisted of anything from track workouts and sprints to cone drills and ball work. Maintaining motivation to stay fit and to grow as soccer players was key to staying happy and healthy for the athletes during their time off. Being able to return to play safely meant players, coaches, and parents had to follow the COVID-19 guidelines. So we have to walk in with masks and we have to maintain the six feet distance rule and we also have to walk out with masks and they've been like sanitizing the balls and all the equipment we use so there's so we can like control the amount of COVID that is being spread. With the On top of following COVID-19 protocols, the mental well-being of players is a priority for the coaches at Oakwood Soccer Club here in Connecticut much school work now and being in front of the screen more players um, obviously don't have their social life so I'm not dealing with the same players that I was last year and um, I think as people we need to be more aware of uh, mental health and, and what everyone is going through. We are all going to try our best during these tough times. That's our goal. I'm Mary Kate Sullivan from Cromwell High School reporting for Fox 61 Student News.